The South Dakota women's basketball team improved 9-1 with Saturday's 38-point route of Coppin State and stands number 21 in the latest USA Today coaches poll, the highest ranking in program history. Tonight, the Coyotes continue a four-game homestand against Mount Marty. In the closing seconds of the first quarter, Mount Marty trails by 14 until Ali Kusha connects for three and joins the 1,000-point club, 27-16 Coyotes after one. Second quarter, USD opens a quarter on a 13-0 run, including a bucket by Hannah Shervin. USD outscored Mount Marty 30-10 in the second. Third quarter, the Coyotes force a turnover. Madison McKeever scoops it up, takes it the distance for two, and the foul. She had 12 points. South Dakota outscored the Lancers 30-5 to in the third and win big 110-39. SDSU continued non-conference play against Chattanooga. Opening quarter, the Jackrabbits run the floor. Lindsey Thunick scoops up the loose ball, dribbles end-to-end -end bucket and the foul. 9-4 Jacks. A few possessions later, SDSU works the ball inside out where Thunick connects for three more of her 13 points. Jacks by eight. Second quarter, SDSU trails by one but continues to push the issue. Riley Cascio Jensen spots Tylee Irwin who banks through two of her nine points. SDSU improves to seven and four with a 71-56 win over the Mox. An NAIA matchup featuring Dakota State and Dakota Wesleyan. Third quarter, DWU by 12 and County. Michaela Karst bounces to Sarah Carr, who sinks a jumper. She had 17 points, 70-56 Tigers after three. Fourth quarter, Dakota State has trimmed the deficit to single digits, but Kennedy Cheeseman dribbles twice and hits the jumper. Seniors scored a game-high 31 points, Tigers by 11. Later in the fourth, DSU continues to trail by 11 until Savannah Walsdorf drives a lane, hoop, and the harm. Freshman had 11 points. It's an eight-point contest. Late in the game, though, Tigers by 10. Jesse Giles gets into the paint, finishes with the right hand and the foul. She had a team-high 22 points for DSU, but Dakota Wesleyan escapes Madison with an 87-79 win.